Good morning all, CamelbackTrading.org coming to you this Wednesday morning, October 5th. We are looking at Window Trader's market profile of the ES and SPY. A uh, couple of things right off the bat today is Yom Kippur, so there will be probably a lighter um, workload as far as traders working today, so keep that in mind. Um, this is also the 15th anniversary that I left the trading floor, October 5th, 2007. Seems like a lifetime ago. Amazing how much is transpired in these markets over the last 15 years. Um, right now, the overnight high in SPY is 378.26. The overnight low is 373.81. ES 0875 is the high. 63.25 is the low. You know, I made reference last night uh, in the room. We were 11 wide, and it was going to be a downside destination. There's so many times when we have these wide point of controls, and it reverses the next day. So again, it's not like a gap or um, single prints. If you trade above or below them, that POC is still in, uh, in play. It just becomes an upside destination. ES is also 15 wide at 85. So again, this is healthy. After two days of incredible emotional upward movement, uh, both on Monday and Tuesday, Triple Distribution Day Monday, a large gap yesterday. To have the market come into some sort of balance for the longer term would be healthy for the bulls. So whether we trade inside of yesterday's range or even take out yesterday's low but hold the gap, um, it would be healthy to trade sideways a bit. That gap down there is not going to be easy to fill the first time. I don't expect it to be filled the first time into there. Right now we're playing right around where that afternoon pullback low was in H. We have double distributions and the overnight in SPY, Russell, and the triple Qs. So again, you could be treating these overnights as two separate days, which means if we get above the overnight high, we'll see if we can get back up to the point of control, which is basically the upper distribution of their overnight high. Look at triple Qs. They already took out yesterday's low in the overnight. Remember, they got fairly close to taking out both sides of the IB yesterday when H period pulled down. So as far as the game plan this morning, now again, everything's in context. So even though yesterday H is low was a good uh, area to buy it, the context of the day is totally different, right? Yesterday, buyers had everything going for them with the indices, value, you name it. Well, now if you take that long against H is low, it's going to be with lower value and with indices that are down. Context. Now, it doesn't mean you can't take the long there. For two reasons, you could take it. You can see if H has buys again like yesterday, and you could also see if they front run the overnight low. Now, there's still 75 minutes to go prior to the open, so a lot can happen. But if the overnight low is right at this level, again, that's not a bad risk reward long against H's low. Any acceptance below the overnight low, I would get out because then sellers would have value and the overnight low in their corner, and then there's a good chance they go and take out pot, uh, yesterday's low, or at least test it. So that's a long play down there. Okay. On the flip side, in the next 75 minutes, if we open below H's low and get the overnight low right away, then you can take a short play to see if we get yesterday's low and use H's low as you're out if we come back into it. Those are early plays. And with the overnight being short, if we do get an inventory adjustment now, see what happens at half back and value low from yesterday. Any acceptance, and I mean any acceptance into value from yesterday, you will trade at that 15 wide point of control from the overnight, and good odds you go back to our 11 wide POC. So those are just real early plays um, this morning in the trading room. And then on the chart, I'll just show you the daily. Remember, we have the job number on Friday. So we blew out of a seven-day balance to the upside. Right now, the 20-day moving average is at 381.70. Um, it will come down again once we open this morning. The key for bulls, I have no problem trading inside of yesterday or even taking out yesterday's low to come into a two-day balance and trade sideways before they resume their upward movements. You do not want to fill the gap. Good luck trading today. Have a great day. And we'll recap at 4 p.m.